to wear the next one. Oh, I'm gonna wear the AP, B, the grand competition. Nice. You man said 80 on the wrist, <laughs> half a mil on the wrist. How about that? Peter Moss in the trap. The first watch is a uh, AP, it used to be a pocket watch. So I went to this auction. No one wanted to buy this pocket watch. So I um, bought it. I thought it was interesting to just have a pocket watch. It's, it was uh, manufactured right before World War II. Mm -hmm. And it was so interesting. I loved it so much, but you know, I'm not into pocket watches. Yeah. So I had a friend, he kind of like made a mock watch out of it. How long did it take you to make that one? It took him like close to nine months. Oh, wow. There's platinum. I mean, because you know, they had to first make sure the pocket watch was authentic, what kind of pocket watch yeah. it was, because they can't go, AP can't go make a watch if this is not a person a real watch, right? So they had okay. to verify where I got it, everything about it, and then, then they made it. And this, it's, I love it, it's one of a kind. This piece, it's an interesting pattern. This piece also. is called the Fire Arm, um, or Fire Power. Mm -hmm. This probably only. 10 never made in the world. If I if I tell you the story of this, yeah, you would think I'm crazy. My first watch I ever bought was a platinum skeleton AP. And I lost it. Like years later, I lost it. So a friend of mine, he comes from Egypt. He said, I got this other watch you might like, man. It might just be a bit more crazier. So anyway, he comes to Europe, he brings me this watch, and I'm like, Yo, what the fuck is this? Because, you know, I've never seen this kind of AP before, right? And I thought it was fake. So I'm going back and forth with him. We all been for like six hours. And finally, I said, listen, I don't want this shit. So he goes back to Egypt with it. So I said to him, give me back my money. So he said, no, man, listen, I'm going to send it to you. Just go shoot your people at, at, at Paddock. They'll tell you it's real. You know, it's, I don't pay attention to him. So he sends the watch to my place in New York. And mm -hmm. I'm in L.A. And I usually deal with these guys on Rodeo Drive, Gary, so I, I think you know Gary, so yeah. I deal with them. So I'm talking to the main guy, and I'm trying to explain to him how this guy tried to sell me a fake pattern. Did so I showed him a photo, he was like, he said, do you know what that is? I said, no, what is it? He said, it's a museum piece. They call it the rare pieces. Mm -hmm. So he brought out the book, I got the book yeah. with, the rare, with the rare pieces. He said, this is one of them. He said, you really have this watch? He says, please get it. And the watch is sitting in my place in New York and I'm thinking it's fake. <laughs> That's the story of that watch. This piece is called a Grand Complication, which like you said, Minute Rikita, Turbion, Corner Grab, and it has a split second hand also. And I just loved it, man. And, you know, I honestly, to be honest with you, when I first saw it, I didn't know what I was getting. I called Francois, I said, Francois, I want to get this watch. He said, do you know what you're getting? I said, no, just... I like the fact that, first of all, it's expensive as fuck. <laughs> and there's only 10 people who have it in the world. But I didn't know I was getting number 10. Mm -hmm. So I got the last one, which is great. You either want the first one or the last one or a number in between that means something to you, right? Yeah, like the six, right? Like, yeah, right. So 10 was great for me. So, um, cause I, I was born on the 10th month. Anyway, I was born in October. So um, I love this piece, man, because it's just, it's just, this right here is a monster of a watch. This is a beast. The next one is, I was kind of blown away too, because you kind of turned it up with the pilot padding. Right. That was a very controversial piece that launched at Balsam World. And again, you have to know somebody to get that piece this quickly. Yeah. And you got it pretty quickly. I know someone. You know someone. <laughs> It's actually one of the watches that you really get the bang for your buck. Yeah. It's white gold, it's pilot, it's two time zone. It's very simple, but the cost, the value is only 48, 49 grand. Mm -hmm. So you get a paddock that's basically, you can't even get anywhere yeah. for a good deal. What I like about you is you have very limited diamond pieces. This is your only diamond piece. I have three diamond pieces. Okay. So the other two not here, but let me tell you why I got this, because sometimes, you know, when you go out, you got these rappers, you know, trying to blame. So, you know, when I see them, be like, listen, player, this is Crush Diamonds Factory. We're gonna, I mean, you have the forged carbon. Yeah. 
that's, that's they, they discontinue it. Is that a workout piece for you? Bring that to the gym? Is that what you wear at the gym? It's when I want to wear all black. Mm -hmm. You know, and just kind of like. You know, we have to skip to the next piece. This is another monster, monster piece. And again, these are pieces that you can't just go and buy in the store. Well, now you can never buy this because they discontinue it. When you could get it, you couldn't get it. But here's what's interesting. When this came in, it actually came to me fairly quickly. And um, just as my luck would have it, it discontinued it four days after I got this. And now, if you want to buy this in the second market, it will cost you 750 grand. It's crazy. Everyone collect for different reasons, right? I don't expect everyone to collect for the same reason. Some people yeah. just think that, when I first started to collect watches, because I always loved watches and I was brought up to um, respect watches and, and appreciate it by my uncle, I just started buying everything. You know, I, was, I had Brigade, Longest Sun, Jaeger, Vacheron. I was just, I had about a hundred watches up to like six, seven years ago. And then I decided like, oh, okay, this is, I want to keep watches and collect watches that really mean something to me. My two favorite brands happen to be AP and Padet. Yeah. You know, this is my everyday watch, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. I wear this every single day. Where's I have the same piece? Yeah, the I love same. it. It's, it uh, and then after I got this, I decided to get. Um, 59.8. Just because I wanted an all metal watch. Now, you want me to give you a great story for this one? Please. Okay. A friend of mine comes to me and says, hey, Proz, listen, man, I need to ball a watch. <laughs> so I figured, damn, let me give him something that... To blow him away? Well, no, something that if something was to happen, he wouldn't be <laughs> I'd still be pissed off, but, like, I'm not going to give him. Yeah, I understand. The Celestial, right? Yeah. So I give him this. Goes to his meeting. On his way home, he decides to stop at a gas station. So, the get, and now you know something is crazy when you stop at a gas station, you're trying to go into that mini market, mm -hmm. and it's closed. You have to order everything from the window. Yeah. You know you're not in a good area, right? 100% they're not okay. letting you in. So he goes in, he places order, he's headed to his car, Scott comes to him and says, run your jewels, run everything. Mm -hmm. So he's like, dang, he's panicked because the dude pulls out a gun, right? So he takes out his wallet, gives him his wallet, take whatever else he had on. And, and, and the guy looks in, he takes all the cash, gets in. Doesn't want the watch. No, listen. <laughs> he goes, he says, run the watch. So the guy like, please, man, my grandfather gave me this. I can't. Yo, run this watch. Mm -hmm. So he's like, he's like, bro, I'm thinking like, what the fuck, I want to tell you, whatever. So he takes the watch off, gives it to the guy. The guy goes to take off, he's like, Man, this shit ain't no Rolex, man. Take this shit back. <laughs> <laughs> that guy doesn't realize that would have been That would have been like close to $90,000. <laughs>